Hello everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to load buildings and other city elements from OpenStreetMap and how to export it, convert it using QGIS and loading the KML in click. Okay, so let's see how to do that and I hope you like it. Okay, so we're going to use OpenStreetMap.arg, which is an alternative to Google Maps. And you can see that we have this export button here. And if I click it, uh, we have this message that this area is too large. But even if we zoom in, like in this area, let's use New York for this example. And if I click export, we have this message of uh, 50,000 nodes as the limit. So we need to zoom in a bit further. So let's export this section of the map. Okay. So hitting export, we have this file in the OSM format, OpenStreetMap, and we're going to use QGIS to convert this layer into other layers, into KML. Okay, uh, it's a free software, you can download it. Let's open this file here. So all we need to do is to drag and drop this OSM file into QGIS and import these layers, okay? So hitting OK, we can see that we have this map and it's all separated in layers, right? Points and so on. So let's remove this layer here that it's not interesting for us. Same for this one. Let's just stay with the multi-polygons, right? So this is the layer that we want. Let me just add the base map here so that we can see it better. And how do we convert this into KML? It's very simple. We just need to uh, export, save as, and there we have KML file. You just need to insert here the folder that you want to export it to. And here we have the file, hit OK. This is our new layer that we can import to click, OK? And each one of these shapes has an ID, OK? So if we look at the attribute page, we can see that some of them have a name, some of them have like this New York Stock Exchange, for example, uh, 20 Broad Street, and so on. So let's load this file and see how it goes. Now let's load our KML file. So come in here, select, and click automatically loads and identifies that it's a KML file. So we just, just have to rename it this column. So we can see that some of them are filled and the others will be just filled with P and the row number, okay? We don't need this one. Let's call this area. So this is the shape format, the, the polygon, right? And that's all we need for now to create that map. Okay, so let's load it, close. And here we can insert our map and a filter pane with the names, right? Add layer and area. That's all we need. So the standard option here is to is limited to a thousand objects. So let's just change it to twenty thousand and change the colors by dimension with the names. That's it for this video. I hope you like it and let me know if you have any comments or ideas, okay?